I don't know if I'm overthinking this at the moment, but I've been wondering if the way that I actually work is now got to a point where it's hindering me and stopping me from moving forward. Have you ever wondered about your own practice and how that either helps you or hinders you? Okay, let me explain. So, well, if you are a regular on my channel, then a huge wave to you. Thank you so much for coming back and watching. And you, of course, know the way I work because I talk about it a lot. But if you're new to my channel, then big welcome. Thank you for being here today. Do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more art tips and tricks and tutorials. But either way, let me just run over my current art practice for you and you can compare it to yours and see how yours works. Everyone's going to have a different way of doing it. And a lot of time as we work, we kind of add into it or take out of it. But sometimes it's good to have a look and just check that it's all flowing well and that you haven't got maybe a little too comfortable with it. And so you're not actually progressing. Maybe you're a little bit stuck in just one place at the moment. So what I tend to do is I will paint on a few pieces at the same time. And you can see here, whilst I was doing this junk journal page that you're watching the process of as we chat about this, I was actually working on five other junk journal pages at the same time. All of them pretty fairly early on in the process. Sometimes they can be in different stages along the process. Just so happens that this batch today were all early stages. I also have pages in the wings in case I need to add in some more. All of these pages are actively being worked on in this same art session. So you're only seeing one. That's just how I edit these videos. But quite often a page, I'll leave it to dry whilst I go and work on another page. Now this is a habit that I've kind of built up over time. I'm sure it's not something that just I do. There's a lot of other people who do this kind of work, do it in this kind of way, I'm sure. Let me know if you're one of them. I would love to hear. In fact, just let me know whatever art practice you do. I would love to know. Do you work on a whole bunch of paintings at the same time? Like in the same session? Or maybe you just work on one painting or one page at a time and then move on once that one's finished? Or there's another way of doing it. You could have like a whole group of different pages or paintings started, but you might chop and change. But in one art session, you might only work concentrated on one of those pieces at a time. I think I've tried all of those variations and there's probably other variations too. So do let me know. I would love to know how your art sessions generally look. So tell me in the comments. And one of the big reasons of why I work with a whole load of pages at the same time is that it just lets me keep on working as pages are put down to dry. That's probably my top reason for doing it. Another reason that's pretty high up on the list is an, also another practical one and it just lets me film a lot of content quite quickly. I can sort of block in half a day, something like that, get a whole load of pages to various stages and you know, just keep the camera rolling all the way through. Another thing I've found with using this type of practice, it is quite good for idea generation. And this is probably my favorite reason for doing this. I really like how I can use different pages to inspire each other. So I can either use similar things across a whole set of pages, or I could go completely the other way and use different things do one thing on one page and then just turn it around, do something completely different on another page. And it just sparks ideas and keeps you flowing. At least that's <laughs> what I've found in my practice. But there's also another thing that I do with these pages and why I work like this. And it's kind of a habit that I've picked up over time. And that is getting all my materials used. So if I put some paint out on palettes, I will use any leftover paint onto another page, maybe start another page or put another layer on another page. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pages in this. <laughs> but it's a great way of using up everything and making sure everything, you know, you don't, you're not throwing anything away. Then there's also the whole boredom threshold thing. Yeah, talk about boredom. Well, I'm, I'm a bit of an art magpie and I can get very easily distracted. <laughs> so doing several pieces at once just kind of keeps me from getting bored as each one is different and I can chop and change. So there's a constant change in stimulus that keeps me engaged with the work. 
But what's kind of happened over time is that now I tend to do small pieces which fit really well into this mode of working. I'm very comfortable doing quick art journal pages or junk journal pages specifically. So now if I want to do a big piece that might take a while to finish or a piece that requires me to really focus in on the details, that's when it starts getting a bit harder and this kind of rhythm that I've got going in this kind of routine doesn't really work for that and I can't tell if it's me or the routine. <laughs> If you see what I mean, maybe the routine works for me because that's just the kind of person and the kind of artist that I am. Or maybe that's kind of my comfort zone and uh, I'm now developing this, this fear of going more intricate and more detailed and I just stay with the pieces that are easy for me to do and I enjoy doing. So really this is when your comfort, your work habit can become a little dysfunctional because if you're starting to feel like you need to go in a different direction but you've got so used to the way the habits that you're using that you really like them, maybe it is stopping you from progressing. So having a work habit with your art is really important. It allows you to be able to get working if you have a routine that you can just plug into and not struggle or fight against yourself to get yourself started. And I've found through this pandemic that that has actually really, really helped. That kind of structure has helped me to do a lot more art and to stop fighting against myself, I think. And I've been leaning on it quite heavily. So it's been really useful for many aspects of my work. But I need to find new routines and habits to support the type of art practices that I find a little harder to do. And I don't know, maybe this is something you need to look at for your own work as well, Have at least have a think about. Obviously if everything is working perfectly and you're absolutely happy, then <laughs> there's nothing to worry about and keep on going. But if there is something you want to do that you still haven't quite got there yet, then maybe have a look at how your routine is set up. Maybe there's something, some easy way that you can add in a new type of practice. Break out of the habits that aren't working for you, change them up a little bit. And keep it easy on yourself, you don't want to be adding to the whole fear of getting started, you, you've got this routine that's really working for you, just maybe tweak it a little bit. I hope my share today has helped you think about it, helped you think about your current work practice. Ask yourself if you're going in a direction you want to be going in. See if there's things that you want to add in to help you to grow. Maybe ask yourself why you work the way you do at the moment. List all the practical reasons, all the emotional ones. Dig deep as well and see if there are any fear factors blocking your way and maybe try and go a little bit, nudge those fear factors a bit. <laughs> Follow them, see where they're leading to because maybe that's where you need to be going next. Anyway, watch this space. <laughs> if my routine changes up, you're bound to hear about it. Look after yourself, keep on arting, and I will catch you again in these videos here. So pop on there for some more mixed media art.